Steph. Yeah, I'm Steph. You're not Steph. You're the creature. I'm the creature, Steph. I'm Michael, the moderator. And Scott Pizio and Drew from Meeple Grande have decided to become targets for the creatures. Uh, they're going to cravings. be hunted. Yes, they're, they're going to be the much. hunted. So we will see what happens. This is the new expansion for Not Alone called Not Alone Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Now, we don't have exploration, but I'm going to get it soon because I really want it. <laughs> because I'm a big fan of Not Alone, just in case you did not already know. Oh, I knew. So, uh, I, we played this the other night. Um, and Steph, uh, I tried to eat Steph's face and Steph avoided I it. I survived. You survived. I'm a survivor. You're a survivor. You did. You did survive it. So. Now it's my turn to be the creature, though. If you do not know how to play Not Alone, I would recommend taking a look at our Not Alone video where we explain all <laughs> of how to play it. And she was like, you all know who the real target is. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's funny because it's true. So, uh, we're now going to explain all of the details, though, if you watch, you'll probably figure it out fairly easily. So, um, we should switch over to the overhead. Take a look at these awesome new cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, in Sanctuary, you're replacing the base game 6 through 10 cards with the new 6 through 10 locations. That one starts off with cards 1 through 5 in their hand, but now you're going to have some new locations. Um, on number 6, actually, you know what? Instead of talking about these, let's talk a little bit more ab about the mechanics before we talk about specifics because that's going to talk about things like survivors and whatnot and so I probably had to give a little bit of background yep so um the monster has learned how to do uh evolutions so these one and two cards over here are some of her evolutions that she could create the ones are easier for her to do the twos are a little bit harder and take more of this tasty dna so how does she get dna we're going to tell you about that here in a little bit so um, what is new for the hunted side? You've got, uh, this little place called Sanctuary. It's a flying city that will fly above these locations. It's going to start out above the river and at the end of every turn, it's going to move one space away. So what is this place for? Well, whenever, uh, you are in phase three, which is the reckoning phase, and you could normally use this place's power instead you could, instead of using the place's power or taking back a discarded place card, which you could do before, if you are adjacent to Sanctuary, you can rescue a survivor. We've got two survivors right here. And when you take a survivor, then you can play, you can do the ability on the survivor, and then you will take the survivor into your stash and you'll put it face down. And I'll tell you why that's important in here in a second. Uh, or if you are on top of Sanctuary, uh, you can fortify Sanctuary. There's a big catch though. If there is a hunt token on Sanctuary, any of these are hunt tokens over here. If there is a hunt token on Sanctuary, you are not doing anything related to, uh, if, if there's a hunt token on your space, you're not doing any of these things. Because remember, the place of power has to be, has to be available. Remember... Either there's no token on it, or there's a target, or there's an Artemia, or there's the creature token. So if there is no creature token, then these will take effect. So um, if you fortify Sanctuary, what that means is to push along this uh, defense track. And what the defense track it basically means is the sanctu Sanctuary is coming up with ways to protect itself uh, and attack the creature. Um, so if you can get this defense track all the way to the star, you win. So now there are two ways for the survivors to win. So we're going to put this at the player count. And we've currently got this at three player. What's the four for? Four players. Yeah, but this plays more than four players. There's a back, to the, there's a back side. Oh, that's right. I forgot. And that's for five, six, and seven players. Yep. It's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I was like, well, where are they? Mm -hmm. So, yes, this is a double-sided track. Uh, just like this is a double-sided track. Steph has decided, as the creature, 
to use the track with the bunched up Artemia spots. Um, uh, one major difference is that both uh, the creature and the players will start on a two player count space no matter what. Uh, you're just going to start off on the player count space on the defense track. So that's how that's done. Whenever you move over the top of something on the defense track, you will immediately get that benefit. Um, so the iconography is really good. Uh, if you need me to explain any of them to you, I will. Uh, the ones that are uh, immediately ahead of you are all hunted players take back a place card of your choice. Uh, all players can, uh, that's here, all players can draw a survival card. All players who do not already have a 6 through 10 card may take one. Yeah, that's a really good spot. But <laughs> now Sanctuary goes through 1 through 10 instead of just circling through 1 through 5. Sanctuary yeah. will start going 1 through 10. Uh, this one, discard an evolution of your choice. <laughs> an evil laugh. Discard an evolution of your choice, take back a will, and obviously win, win the game. So, let me uh, get this card that I dropped. So, um, so that's what's different in Phase 3. There's also going to be a Phase 5, which is where she is going to evolve. Um, so, during... Uh, let's see, at the end of Phase 4... I don't have the right phase four. I don't have the right. Uh, right mm, sanctuary is not on here. I'm trying to find that one. Oh, no, it's on phase five. All right. Move sanctuary to the next place. So we're going to move it from from three to four, from four to five and from five to one, unless you guys have already passed that six to ten spot. Um, reveal up to two more survivor cards. So if you guys manage to rescue a survivor, another one's not going to pop up until. until um phase five uh and then the creature is going to decide whether to evolve or nest when the creature evolves uh she's going to take a dna then she can spend dna to draw an evolution card and she can develop evolutions now the rules aren't clear as to whether you can spend one and draw a card and spend one and draw a card and spend one to draw a card that's how we have been playing it so if that's not correct i can't find anywhere on the forums where it says anything different so, um, it doesn't say to spend three and draw three. It says you may spend one for each card you draw. Now, she could draw a one, level one or a level two card. The level twos are a little bit more difficult for her. And they usually take uh, a lot more DNA. If I remember correctly, the, the phase one cards are between one and three DNA. And the phase two cards are somewhere between four and six or seven DNA at most. Um... Or if she decides to nest, she's going to take three DNA, but that's going to make the defense token move forward one space. So, <laughs> the monster is evolving. Cold weather tolerance. Look at that. So, they, they clearly it. saw you do it. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> Cold right. weather tolerance. That's funny. Um. So, uh, notice that when she nests, she cannot uh, do any evolutions. She just gets three DNA instead of one, and it's going to move that defense token, most importantly. Yes, terrible idea. Um, other than that, everything else is the same, except for these fine locations. Hey, I think it's time to start talking about those now. Uh, there are two copies of each in the store for this player count, except for the monolith. There are always three monolith locations. That's the number 10. We'll talk about that in a second. Num card number six, take back this place card plus one of your discarded place cards for each developed evolution. The more evolved she is, the more you're gonna get to take back in the canopy. So, um, that it makes a little bit of twist on the other card that was there. Uh, at the bivouac, draw one survival card, then draw one survival card with one survivor card without activating its ability. So basically, you'll just take one of these guys. Let's say there's one with a rather useless power. You just put him face down. Remember, whenever you are at sanctuary and you fortify, did I? 
I don't think you said it. I don't so. even think I said it. I think I just like blazed right past it. Remember when I said you could fortify sanctuary? You can also shelter survivors a maximum one time per turn. And that means every one of your survivors gets discarded. And you push the defense token one extra space. So, that's fortify. And then if you shelter survivors, you go one more another space. So having survivors to start with is really good. So right. just even getting not maybe not getting the benefit of the survivor, but just getting just it having it in your is good in your pile in your uh, rescued survivors pile. Now, note you have to give up all of your survivors, and you get exactly one push, no matter how many survivors you save. So. Getting two doesn't necessarily help you out more than one. However, there are some of these survivor cards, survival cards, that will say discard a survivor. Mm -hmm. So you might need that for such an ability. So sheltering survivors happens, like I say, once per turn. And that's only if you are on Sanctuary. All right. Uh, how about card number eight? Fortify Sanctuary. That's where you're pushing uh, Sanctuary along the track. Then you may shelter all your survivors. Maximum one time per turn. So hey, at that point, there are now two ways to fortify. Just like there are two ways to uh, move the rescue counter forward with the beach. Uh, well, there were two ways to, make, to move that forward. Now there's only one way. Because the other way used to be this here. for Sanctuary, which is, in my opinion, way better. <laughs> it seems really good. Um, but in some ways, it makes it so the monster has to like protect Sanctuary a lot more often. You got the Hive, rescue a survivor, or the Hunted of your choice. You or another player will get, regain a will. And last but not least, the Monolith. Discard one developed evolution, then... Remove this place card from the game. That's why there are three copies over here. Because if you have to discard this dude from the game, you are going to want more copies at some point. All right. Well, those are the places that you can acquire if you go to the rover. All the other locations are just or as they you ever get the was. Pawn here. Or if you get the pawn there, correct. I get three hunt cards. You do get three hunt cards. <laughs> Drew says, like I said, eight is the buffet card. I'm sure she'll never rest. Yeah. Um, I actually rested once. Or twice. I had an ability that let me get four back when I nest. That was nice. All right. So, uh, Scott, I believe, has already picked his first card. Um... Let me turn this away from Steph so she can't be cheater McCheater face. See please. <laughs> so, um, and I've already given them. Oh, you know what else I forgot to to tell our viewers? I forgot to tell our viewers that uh, there are now roll cards. There are now officer cards for each of the players. So, our guest Scott Pizio is Clara Bolt, the exobiologist. In phase three, if she's caught by a hunt token. The creature loses a DNA. That's those yellow uh, markers there. And Drew from Meeple Grande has chosen Elora Ferguson. In phase three, instead of using the power of your place card, you may copy the ability of a rest of a revealed survivor card over here. Then discard the survivor card. She doesn't get to take it into her rescued survivors, but hey, I mean, move being able to move the token for this one, or what is this one here? It's probably That's, discard all my DNA. Um, the creature may not evolve or nest during the next evolution what? phase. That's ridiculous. We've never seen that one before. No, it's really good. But I want to evolve! Um... Elora is going to place the marker on the beach. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so Elora did that. If that changes anybody's plan, let me know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have a phase two. Did they both uh, pick? They have not. They, uh, Drew has not picked. Okay. Scott has picked, but 
what happened. I don't know if that's going to change anything. If you would, Scott, if you could confirm with me. And I have, I have Drew's choice. No, you got to whisper it, Scott. You may want to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to whisper it because I'm going to look at the chat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, yeah. Cheater, cheater, human eater. <laughs> That's me. Oh, that's so funny. And by, and by cheater, cheater, you mean... Let's just put my answer right in the chat where, where creatures watch. All right, now you don't know whether he changed it or I, not. I, I don't know, but I do have a phase two. You have a phase two card? Yeah. That's not good. Why? Well, I mean, for the hunted, it's not good. It's not. So what did you, What are you doing? We're going to ban this person. Oh, that's what you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Cool. Boom. Easy prey. Oh no. <laughs> Discard the revealed survivor cards. Oh. <laughs> Listen to her. I did that to you and you were like, what? Well, those are really good ones. They were really so. good ones. And, and no more will appear until. <laughs> look, look, look at her laughing. An evil freaking laugh. Oh, Drew did say, oh, that's evil. <laughs> Who gave the creature access to the other webs? <laughs> and you get the Artemia token. I get the Artemia token to go... Where is that, Scott? Oh, three? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. All right. I got a black sanctuary while I can. In the Rova. All right, so... Then we reveal. We have chosen the rover. And we have chosen the lair. I was wondering oh. about the lair. Boo, Drew. What about that, Drew? Oh, oh you know what? Nom, one, nom, nom. one thing that um that I did not realize is and, and it's not clear in the base game rules. Um but they say, remember, do this, this, then this. And I'm like, I didn't remember that. There's actually an order, and I'm not certain BGA does it correctly. But the <laughs> revealed places go, then the targeted, then the Artemia, then the creature token. So, I cheered a bit. Every, <laughs> every bit helps. <laughs> every bit, every bit helps. So, yes. Um, <laughs> With the slap on the face. <laughs> so... I did not know that, but yeah, so uh, every every creature bit just helped. So, you are caught by a hunt token. The creature loses the DNA. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you got tasted. You got tasted. But I got to advance here. You did get to advance there. Uh, Drew actually gets to do the rover, which was... Or bad. he can copy... Well, he can't copy a survivor card because there are no survivor cards. So, yes, he does get to do the rover. Oh, boy. So, he, what is he going to take? A six, a seven, an eight, a nine, or a ten? Uh, he wants a nine card. Ooh. So, he now has a copy of the hive. I see what you did there. Yeah, he said he avoided the eight spot because he doesn't want to get eight. No. Oh, <laughs> free of charge. All right, so then we do phase five, which is evolution. Um, moving a sanctuary to the next place. Then reveal up to two survivor cards. Let's do that. We have Shirley McCloy, make her lose two DNA, and Milo oh, Grant, make geez. her lose. Two DNA. Um, so what was the thing where... Um, Nothing. Yeah, so you get to evolve or nest. Well, I'm going to evolve. Yeah, so you're going to take one. Yeah. And then what? I can play one of these cards. Whoa! Going to play a card. Yeah. 
this this one here. Okay. I'm alpha. Gain one DNA if the creature token catches at least one of the hunted. I wish I came out last time. I know, because you'd lose one and gain one. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And if I want more of these cards, I need to pay one DNA? Yes. Per card. Okay. Per card. All right. She started off with three at this player count. So, yeah. All right. Oh, wait a second. Scott put something in the chat. Phase five. Play this it? card when the creature develops an evolution. The evolution costs an extra DNA. If it can't afford the cost, the evolution is discarded, but DNA is not spent. So, you discard that. I discard this? Yes. What? Is that because, his Yes, thing? That's, that, is, that, is, that is his oh, thing, Retrovirus. Geez. This is why it took so long to type it out to him. Even with swipe. Yeah, you caught a retrovirus from the uh, exobiologist. It's ridiculous. I'm a good creature. <laughs> <laughs> good job, team. That was really funny. No. All right. So, uh, <laughs> I was looking at the whispers, and I saw that he had typed it in the chat. So, that's really, that's really good. All right. We are going to select... Another card for each person. Looking at my whispers here. Looking at my whispers here. All right. They're locked in, creature. I'll just do this. Oh, you're going to do Phase a card. Two. Phase two. You get the Artemia token again. I do. Draw one evolution card for each played hunt token, which catches no hunted. Nice. So. Uh, Drew, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost coke spewed. With my cherry tasting diet coke. Okay. She wants us alive and screaming. <laughs> Good creature, <laughs> medium rare, or well done. <laughs> Picking on aliens, astronauts are some. All right, what's good? Um, so you have chosen four and five. So. We have a three. And you have caught Drew. You already have enough cards, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> he tried, though. He really tried. He did. So, Scott uh, will get to do the uh, the river next time. Oh, you know what? We forgot to move this up. The rescue token. I draw an evolution. Uh, yes, you do draw an evolution. How do you? Oh yeah, you draw one for each hunt token that catches none. Right, so but I caught one, one. Of, yeah, so one of them caught and one did not. Hmm. Okay. You did it. All right, take back your hunt tokens. Draw up to three. Move the rescue token. Uh, move sanctuary to the next place. Wait, did did Scott want to rest to? Survivor? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Scott could choose. No. Can he do that? Because the Artemia token was on. No. Yes, he can. Because he's good. next to... it. He's next to uh, Sanctuary. And the Artemia token is not actually on Sanctuary. But if the Artemia token was on him, he couldn't do it. He can actually, instead of using the river, he can rescue one. Of course, he's only going to take one of your two, but right. he will also it's, it's an option, he will though. also get to flip over. So he can either do the river, or he can rescue a survivor. He's running out because, of cards, so he might want to actually take the location of the river. So just oh. river. Okay. 
He's choosing the river, so he will get two. Discard on the place cards. Sanctuary moves on. Um, reveal up to two survivor cards. They're still there. And you can evolve or nest. Like this? Like that. That's evolve. What do I got? What do you got? Sure. Scavenger costs two DNA. I'm already getting uh, getting the next one. Uh, next one's on. Remember, you guys can um, resist by spending a will, or you can give up, which you don't, wouldn't want to give up yet. Scavenger costs phase two. five. In phase five, each hunted with an empty discard pile must discard one place card. An empty discard pile. Oh, if these get taken all the way back for some reason. Each scavenger with an empty discard pile. Must discard. But that's next phase five, not this phase five. So yes. It doesn't matter anyway. Oh, I no, you don't. Card. You don't get a fourth card. I want twenty cards. <laughs> cheater, cheater, human. Eater. All right, so we're in phase one. We're in phase one, and I believe. Oh. So instead of what you had said, you want to do a resist. All right. He is going to resist. And play this instead. All right. Claire is down to one will. Laura at two will. Wow, you're like crunching them really well this time. You've caught them twice. Hmm. A creature sus. Right, 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 right. So the creature is lurking All right. in the shadows. Phase two. Prevent, Phase two. Prevent the defense counter from moving forward during this turn. Oh. That's if you activate Sanctuary instead of your place um, to move that forward. All right, you do get the creature token. Yeah, I'm thinking. I uh, know. I go here. Go into the jungle. Are you ready? Yeah. Um, Scott has to make his decision mm -hmm. before I reveal because Scott has two options. Uh, there's no, uh, let me, so if you, if you decide to do the, uh, do, uh, a sanctuary or a rescue, then you don't do the power of the place. You can right. either do the power of the place or. Or take back a card, which usually you don't take back a card unless you, that's the only thing that you can do. Or you can rescue a survivor uh, if you're next to Sanctuary. Or you can move, normally move the defense thing ahead. But currently, she's preventing you moving the defense counter. But he can still activate the rover place. He, he could activate the rover place, yes. If that was one of his He choices. could activate the rover place if that's what he wanted to do. I figured it was going to be, but... There's no way I could stop him with two cards out there anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's going to he's going to avoid. So I went with my gut on Drew. My apologies, Drew, <laughs> if that's where you picked. <laughs> what did Drew say? He said, uh, <laughs> yeah, so if, if you want to active, if you were going to activate the beach, for example, you can either take the token off to move the rescue counter forward. The rescue counter is not affected. Um by her siege card over here. No. So you could either remove that and move the uh, rescue counter forward, or you can rescue someone 
uh, one of the survivors. I don't have any. And she doesn't have any DNA, DNA, unfortunately, so you would just be getting it for a future survivor shelter. Scott's not going to play with you on the uh, on the team after this game. I don't, <laughs> that's not true. All right, so he has chosen uh-huh. four. Okay. And you have eaten Drew <laughs> in the jungle. <laughs> Tasty. Drew, I just know what you're thinking, apparently. <laughs> I should have played my other hunk card. <laughs> Tasty. So, uh, Scott has chosen to take the counter off of the beach, which will move the rescue counter forward. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> things are looking bleak for the humans here. <laughs> we need Shrey, the survival <clears throat> card specialist. <laughs> that's right. That's what, he was really doing that. So, All right. So... Um, discard the place cards. Done. Take back the hunt token. Draw hunt cards up to three in hand. Move the rescue token, which we have not done because we did it on the, on the beach. Uh, then for phase five, move sanctuary to the next place. Since we are not to the one through 10 yet, it's going to go back to one. Uh, reveal up to two survivor cards. Done. Evolve or nest creature. I, Boy, could spend, that was, I could spend it to do You could this. spend it to take a to draw as well a card. Since somebody might actually get a survivor at some point. That's true. That's what I did against you. Yeah. Um, you're like sacrificing a sure thing in order uh-huh. to <laughs> protect yourself. Yeah, Shrey is boss. Yeah, Shrey is the boss. Did the survival token go forward again? Yes. Yes. It has gone forward. Twice this round. Yeah, so like... Uh, there's been three turns basically, and uh, you've pushed it forward once more with the beach. Yeah. So it's gone forward a total of four times. Yeah. So another nine spaces for you guys, another four spaces for Steph, which means eating Drew four times. Um, <laughs> well, it looks like they're both going to lose some will. Uh, they're both about to lose some will, probably. So my, my goal is not to catch Scott because he just makes me lose my DNA. So That's. <laughs> All right, so we have already gotten a choice from Senor Scott, and uh, we have a give up order. So move forward one. I thought that might happen. Not gonna lie. And we we have another program. So everyone has given their choices. I had an evolution last night that if I don't play a, a hunt token, uh, if I didn't play if I didn't play a hunt card, what was it? if I didn't play it before phase four, something really bad happened to you. I couldn't remember what it was. Target two adjacent places. Apply the effects of the Artemia token on both places. Four and nine. All right. How about that critter token? On five. So we're going to reveal. We have the river. God, that's your favorite card. And we have your snack. Oh, I should always play this other card that I have. I'm like, I'm, I'm probably not going to find Drew this time. <laughs> we, we have I your I was gonna find Scott. favorite snack. <laughs> He's so tasty. <laughs> we have a stalker here on aisle two. Stalker on aisle two. <laughs> oh, Derek, one bitty. Salt. <laughs> yeah, it's salt. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Every bit helps. Every bit helps. <laughs> you should hear the words you saying. Er, no, you changed it to every bit counts, didn't you? I did, yeah. It was every bit helps. I could do it back. I have to update I'm every like, stream. I anyway. was like, I was programming myself. <laughs> Laura, I feel bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you should hear the words Drew is saying. I know what he's saying. Oh, no, don't need me. Don't no, need my no. Arm. I need my arm. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat that 
that hand. No. That's my good hand. All right. So hilariously, um, Scott is going to get to do the river. Uh, Elora gets to uh, get crunched up in the rover spot. You take these back. It's just freaking hilarious. Move the rescue token one more another space. Um, <laughs> this is great. Drew, Drew, Drew. Drew, Drew, Drew. <laughs> it was Drew, 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 no, and a Drew was, give it was up. Scott, Drew, 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 Drew. Wow, it's amazing. Because I did, I did catch him. I'm like, but he makes me lose my DNA. All right, do an evolution. Oh yeah, I do have an evolution. I'm going to get this and and play this card. During phase four, draw hunt cards up to a hand of four. Oh, so next to, next phase four, you will get four hunt cards instead of the, that's what I had. It was so good. No comment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Scott said Scott agreed. One was me. I ruined Drew's lack of progress. <laughs> Uh, all right, Drew, which of these <laughs> locations do you want to get eaten at? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have five locations here. Which one will Steph pick? Uh, all right, the team has chosen. <laughs> the look on your face. Uh, oh my goodness, it's so funny. I'm going to do this. What's this? Force Drew to discard all but two place cards. from. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it to Scott, but he only has one card in his hand. So. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so, Drew, you have four cards. You must discard two of them face up right now. Boy. That monster. I'm so mean. She is a cruel beast. It's raiding Drew's parts. <laughs> wow. It's raining Drew's parts. Oh, God. That is, from out of the sky. That needs to not be Drew's a song. parts. Don't even ask why. If I had Just a better card, I would have played it. Close your eyes. It's raining no. Drew's parts. Stop. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. Drew got it. <laughs> Did he tell you it's a discard? Is is a good small friend. A good small friend. Uh yes, he just yeah, I I it's just now like saw it. So he's he tells me <laughs> I'm surprised he's willing to play a game with us. <laughs> it's it's a little game shop. Little game, little shop of horrors. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Scott Pizio feeding the cat. Uh, going to the lair. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right. What are you What are you taking, uh, Scott? Getting confirmation. All right. I'm a good creature. We have the rover. Yeah, 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 the rover. I was gonna go there. <laughs> what did he, what what did you pick? <laughs> did he pick one? <laughs> <laughs> How oh, about another that, meal? That's like a win for Steph right no, now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that is a one will uh two will and one give up. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now what is I'm gonna make sure I put this on the right on the right <laughs> spot here. Oh no, always place the rescue counter on space two. This still goes on space three. Right. You are one space uh... back. I just wanted to make sure, and it is true. Always place the rescue on space two, but it doesn't say a thing about the the creature counter. So there is 
A slight hope. I didn't win yet. No, but you're about to. So when does this happen? Phase one? It happens as soon as you crunch him. Oh, because then he yes. ends with what? no he cards. He will end with no cards, so he must discard one because of your special. Okay. Um, so, uh, Scott is going to take card number seven. Oh, I liked card seven. Except now he's got it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I see lunch. Yeah, Scott can't give up, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, if you give up, then I win. So, <clears throat> Uh, this moves along one. This moves along one. Uh. And what are you going to do? You're going to just, just evolve? so you all know, I won as the hunted yesterday. Yes, you did. I did not win as a creature yesterday. Uh, evolve is just this. I wasn't Drew. Sure. So, phase five, he needs to discard one. Yes, phase five, uh, Drew needs to discard a card. Because he has all his cards, and then he needs to choose one for his ne his new phase one. Michael is a horrible monster. Well, Steph. No, it was a close game. Uh, yeah, Steph barely evaded me. But I did. All right, Drew is going to discard four, and now Drew is going to play. Hold this, on. This, oh, oh okay. holding on. There, might, there may be something I play. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Um. Rain and nachos. He only has two. He only has two nachos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Monsters, I feel you. like as soon as I play this card, it's like, it's like. You're going to start getting Artenia token next time. That's true. All right, well, I might as well just do this. Force hmm. one hunted Drew to show you all but two place cards from his hand. Oh my goodness. It wouldn't make sense for Scott because I can't look at more. So that's not as good as the last one, but you do no. get the Artemia token. That's why I played it. So, Drew, choose two of these cards to show Steph. Yeah, I get to see two of the numbers. <laughs> Derek says, dang. <laughs> I'm pouting. I'm pouring queso sauce on me as we speak. <laughs> it's because you put coffee in your body and it's just, you know. It's so it, good. It's caffeine for the creature. All right. He has showed you nine and one. All righty. Fine. But you don't discard them, which is good. Now she's deciding. I am. I'm going to get this and this. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I love this game. And we reveal. And that's... Oh. <laughs> that's going to do it. The one time she didn't get Drew, <laughs> she heats Scott. <laughs> oh, you lose a DNA, by the oh, way. Oh, sad. Yeah. It's fine. That's, that's fine. Ow. That would be a win. <laughs> the monsters love nachos. Don't do it. Well, guess what? The monster decided to eat Scott <laughs> with the stinky cheese. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's Sanctuary. You guys didn't even get to see the the defense counter moved up any. At, at all. She was on you guys like crazy. I mean. I didn't even really block that that off. I mean, I did, but it wasn't. Well, like I had to block it with, when I was playing against you because you were. Hey, we hey, got five bits. Rest in peace. <laughs> Every bit counts. But you have to change. I'm going to change it back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go back I'm to the... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to crush Drew's hopes and dreams. <laughs> I'm a good monster. <laughs> Michael's dead. <laughs> hey, who am I? 
<laughs> I'm a crew member. I'm all full. I'm are you full now? I mean, she is a fierce monster. I mean, there are some cards that will give you a rover card. Yes. Um, there are some some crew members uh, where you can avoid the the creature token. Uh, I mean, that's. Some... I mean, I felt bad because he didn't even get to use his character card. What was the other one he could have chose? Like, if I didn't find him every freaking turn, he would have been able to like use the the survivor cards, which are pretty cool. Oh, we can uh, lose a will to avoid the Artemia token. I never found him with the. Artemia well, you never found token. him with the Artemia. <laughs> Just found him with my face. <laughs> you found him with the munch a bunch of uh, crew member token. If I had hands, I'd clap it. I know you ate them. <laughs> <laughs> They're clapping in her belly. Drew is wearing a red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Picks or it didn't happen. Misty, take, Laura, take pictures of him in the red shirt. Oh, it's so good. There's some, like, some really good... I mean, there's some that lets you get the... Get a survival uh, survival card. There are some that push forward the rescue. Uh, I mean, there's some really good ones in here. Um, yeah, and there's like a double the amount of hunt cards. There are tons of different officers. So it increases the replayability like crazy. Um, you can play some of the things in... Sanctuary, but keep the old not alone locations. But what you'd have to do is you'd have to use only the ones with the little not alone symbol, not one like this, because this one keys specifically on Sanctuary. So if you don't want to play with Sanctuary, but you want to play with some of the cards, yeah. you can do it. Okay. Um. So uh, I think it. I think it just it it changes the game significantly uh, I don't think I like it better but I don't think I like it worse either it's just different it's just different so uh, would I recommend it someone who loves not alone absolutely I would totally recommend it and I'm, I'm I've got to get exploration uh, I'm assuming exploration adds different locations which would be really good yeah. um, I liked the survivor cards I liked you know, how it gives you a little reward if you save them. Maybe you didn't want to activate the river, but you could instead, you know, sur gives like reasons save to go to the jungle. Yeah. So, um, well, the reason to go to the jungle is to uh, eat Drew. <laughs> and the reason to go to no, the you river... No, you ate Scott at the jungle. At the end. Yeah. But I, eat, I, I had two meals. You know where you meals. eat Drew? I had every two place. Meals. Every other, every place. Yeah, all the places. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like it. I think it's interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> Drew was sitting there with a plate of nachos for... I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You did mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> it includes new hunt cards for the creature, new survival cards for the hunted. This does too on those. New location cards for the planet. These 10 locations can be played together. They can be mixed from locations with the base game, giving not alone an almost infinite combination. Mm. So with that in mind, I might actually prefer base and the randomized 6 through 10. I mean, but if you're playing with Sanctuary, it's really good to have like card 8. Like Which will force that down the track. That's Yeah. I mean, I nearly won with this track. I oh think, yeah, you did, I and I, I had to I sit I, on top of Sanctuary. I know, I know, I and that lets you I rescue. Won by this, you just did time running out at the Be end of it, but because it was I had close. to because I had to guard either. Sanctuary because you were two spaces away from closing it out, and you had survivors. I had survivors. I was, yeah, I, was, I was using all the survivors in the game and um, making sure I had them there because there were some abilities that I could discard a survivor to like get something cool. So I wanted and to at make the sure end, I had survivors. But at the end, I did have a two out of five chance of finding you and eating you. That's right. And then I would have it gone was, I would have gone tight. one, two right into the the rescue spot. Yeah, but no, you ran out of time. Well, what happened was like you were one space away from the from the rescue and I said you're not going to move the rescue token. And you looked at me like you could kill me. I mean, I no, so no. Mad. There was no pouty lip. It was laser. It was like. 
laser eyes when I did that. And it was like, and and then I had a two out of five chance to get her because she had, she like put, she had put all her cards out there. She had only a few cards left. I had three places I could go. And with, with, I had all three tokens with a card that I was going to play. The only, and the power I had was this turns into another creature token. So that's two chances to eat you. But my card that I had that you didn't know that I had. Right. Even if you found me with but a creature token. But even if I token, found you, it was it, like. It was, creature tokens are non-effective. I'm like, that's perfect. That's so yeah. a great card for so, you to play. So <laughs> I thought I had two chances out of five to win. I had two out of five chances for her to play that card. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. I like this game a lot. Just need just need hands to play it now. That's true. You can play it online. Just I use gave your you nose. A hand. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, we can play this on BGA. We can't play the Sanctuary expansion, but we can play... Just regular. Regular. Yeah. So, you, are, you ate his hands. Yes. Yes, she did. Phalanges. Let's give Drew a hand. <laughs> Phalanges. I got extra hands now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Well, hey, at least now you have his digits. If you ah! want to call him. <laughs> All right. We're done with that. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Buy it. Play it. Have fun. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back.